Now, Gerald, you always like to look at the visual aspect of all of these stories, and you've got a great picture on the front page of The Independent on Sunday there. Well, I just, I just think this says how two-faced uh, politicians are. Uh, this is a wonderful picture of Putin here cuddling, uh, pretending to love a koala bear. Or strangling a koala bear. Or strangling bear. a koala tell. bear. <laughs> and then inside here he is uh, shaking hands with Cameron, who uh, you know, has insulted him and so forth. It's just all part of the politician's uh, demeanor, I suppose. They've got, to, they've got to behave like this. And it's, it's great material for me when I'm making drawings, this two-facedness of the politician. We're going to come on to your drawings in a moment, but um, cartoons, every week we look at the cartoons in the Sunday papers. Um, sometimes they're big, sometimes they're small, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're less good, but they're an important part of journalism, which is slightly fading away as well. We talk about uh, the Russian story fading away. Cartoons are fading away, perhaps worryingly, in newspapers a bit at the moment, aren't they? Well, I th I, they're still there all the time, but of course newspapers are fading away. I mean, that may be the thing, but uh, mm -hmm. I think that uh, they are an important part of newspapers because they are a visual, immediate comment. And uh, Fraser was saying earlier that uh, a, a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, I'm not sure that that's true, really, because a, a cartoon has to be very simplistic and very much to the point. You can't say on this hand and on the other hand it's as a you simple, can. And, and simple, bold, it's a simple, simple, straightforward, point. and hopefully entertaining, hopefully funny may be informative, but I have never kidded myself that they change anything. Or well, well, let's look at a couple of your cartoons right away. There's one of Putin. We've just been talking about Putin here. And again, it's very simple. It's a straightforward, he's a bad guy cartoon on his snarling bear. There it is. Yeah, the caption on that, which you can't see, is, can you ever trust a bear? And uh, can we ever trust Putin, of course. Putin. And uh, then sometimes you have to do cartoons about more abstract issues. This is one about Ebola. Yeah, they're, they're kind of more difficult, really, in a way, but that's because they can become sort of uh, emotive in the wrong sort of way, sort of uh, mawkish. Uh, this one just shows Ebola coming from Africa and its fingertips reaching America and, and its other finger reaching uh, Europe and uh, the, the caption again, the caption we can't see, it says suddenly, suddenly we, care. We, care we care because it's come to us. Now we should say there's a big campaign to boost cartooning and drawing generally. There's a battle of the cartoonists in London next weekend which is designed to encourage people to take up the pen because actually if you want to work for Fraser or you want to work for <laughs> Catherine, the easiest way to get a job at the moment is to be a good cartoonist because there aren't enough of them. True? Absolutely. It's, um, I mean, it's funny how difficult it is to find people who can be, draw beautifully and make a good joke. So often you can get people who can do one or the other, but to do both, if you can do that, it's when you've got a very good career ahead of you. He's right. It's half journalist and half artist. You know, you've got to bridge the two. And they're, they're rare birds, of course, these cartoonists, I think. This right. particular thing that you're talking about, this to help promote artists, um, it's... Uh, uh, it's called the drawing. big campaign for drawing. I'm a patron of that, and uh, uh, it, the thing is to encourage people to get back to drawing. The right. extraordinary thing is we're all born with the ability to draw, to dance, to to sing, whatever, and we continue to sing and dance maybe, but we give up drawing, and right, it right. sort of happens along the way when people start trying to draw, trying to draw properly, get a, a likeness or uh, mm. shading or perspective and all those things, and then their friends start to laugh at their drawings and they give up. It's so sure. sad. It's very sad. And indeed. this campaign really is to <clears throat> encourage people to get back to it right. because it's very therapeutic. We